The New Girl by Cassidy Animator. I'm going to dedicate this book to kids who are trying to fit in and be like everyone else. Many kids are being picked on for being different. Many kids more than anything else want to be popular. It was a cold January day. A girl named Ellie, who was only 11 years old, moved into the neighborhood. Ellie was a very sweet girl. She wore pink skirts with white polka dots and shirts with puppies on them. She also wore her ears and pigtails with a big blue bow on her head. Ellie absolutely adored her style. The next day, Ellie attended 5th grade at Northbrook Middle School. Ellie was excited as could be. I hope I make new friends, thought Ellie. When Ellie entered her new classroom, she noticed a group of girls talking and laughing. The three girls were Mackenzie, Candace, and Hillary. They were popular and wore amazingly cool clothes. Ellie wanted to be friends with this group, so she introduced herself. Hi, my name is Ellie. Can I hang out with you? The girls stopped talking, stared at Ellie, and began to laugh at her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Ellie? That's a weird name, said Mackenzie. And why are you dressed like a baby? asked Hillary. Ellie knew her day was off to a bad start. Because it's my style, replied Ellie shyly. And what middle school girl wears pigtails and a big blue bow like that? asked Candace. The mean group of girls talked so loudly that the entire class heard them. Soon, everyone was laughing at Ellie. <laughs> Sorry, Ellie. We don't allow unpopular girls like you in our group, said Mackenzie. The mean group walked away and went back to talking. After school, when Ellie got home, she looked at herself in the bathroom mirror. I do look like a baby, said Ellie sadly. Ellie realized that if she wanted to fit in, she had to stop dressing like a baby. So she bought herself pink shorts, velcro sneakers, and a red headband. She tried on her new outfit and looked in the mirror. Now they'll include me, said Ellie. But the next day wasn't any better. The mean group called Ellie's clothes weird. Your clothes are out of style. Poor Ellie turned red in the face. She knew she needed to find another way to fit in. She knew the girls wouldn't accept her unless she looked like them. When Ellie got home, she changed into her old clothes and went to the bathroom mirror. She whispered her name three times in the mirror. Ellie, 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 she whispered. Gee, it is a weird name, said poor Ellie. Ellie ran to her room turned on her computer, and began to look up a better name. She finally settled on Anne. Ellie changed her name to Anne. The next day was much worse. When Anne slash Ellie got to class, she told the girls about her name. My name is now Anne. What do you think? asked Anne slash Ellie. <laughs> I think it's way worse than Ellie, laughed Candace. I'll say cried Hillary. Ellie was frustrated. She still didn't fit in. Anne slash Ellie knew changing her name wouldn't work, so she changed her name back to Ellie again. When Ellie got home, she went to the bathroom mirror and took a good look at her hairstyle. I look like a kindergartner, said Ellie, as she undid her pigtails. Ellie ran in her mom's room and took a look at one of her mom's fashion magazines. She finally chose the best hairstyle. A ponytail on one side of the head covered in glitter. Ellie ran to the bathroom with the magazine and changed her ears into the same hairstyle in the magazine. 
Now they'll accept me, said Ellie proudly. But the next day was absolutely terrible. During math class, the mean group of girls were gossiping about Ellie's hair. Ellie overheard what they were saying. What is up with her hair? whispered Candace. It looks like someone dumped stars on her head or something, whispered Hillary. For the rest of the day, Mackenzie, Candace, and Hillary called Ellie names. They called her Starhead, Baby, Weirdo. Ellie could not believe this was happening to her. The teasing had turned into bullying. When Ellie got home, she changed into her pajamas and changed her ears back into pigtails. I'll never fit in, said Ellie. During dinner time, Ellie spilled the whole story to her mom and dad. How can I get them to like me? asked Ellie. I'm afraid you can't force someone to like you, said Ellie's mom. But if you want to have friends, be sweet and be yourself, she said. I have to do more than that. They said the way I dress is out of style, said Ellie. They are now becoming my bullies, she said. Ellie, you're unique and special. Don't try to be like the mean girls, said Ellie's mom. But how do I stop the bullying? asked Ellie. Stand up to them and tell them what I told you, answered Ellie's mom. The next day, Ellie dressed like herself again and went to school. When the girls approached Ellie's desk to hassle her about the clothes she wore, Ellie took a deep breath. <sighs> Stop bullying me, said Ellie sternly. I am never going to listen to what you say. I am who I am, she said. Ellie only had to say it once. The mean group walked away saying nothing. What a loser. I know, right? And so a few weeks later, Ellie made a ton of new friends who never made a fuss about the clothes she wore. They accepted her for who she was. However, Ellie later learned that you should never change the person who you are just to try to fit in. So the moral of the story is, don't try to fit in, just be yourself. It's not worth it. Don't try to be me, and I won't try to be you. There is only one of me, and there is only one of you. Don't go around pretending to be somebody that you are not. The real you is who you should let people see and not what you've got. You don't need to put on a false identity, trying to look and act like a celebrity. You are who you are with your own personality. That's the way it is, so just deal with reality. Looking up to someone is nothing wrong, but when you try to become that someone, that's where you don't belong. Just be yourself and play it cool. Why pretend to make yourself look like a fool? I won't try to be you, so don't try to be me. If others can't accept the way you are, then just let them be. This poem was written by Paul Adolphus, and he's absolutely right. Don't try to change, just be yourself. It's better to be original than to copy. It doesn't matter if you dress, talk, or look differently from others. It's what's inside that matters more. Who cares what anyone else thinks? I sure don't. If everyone looked, dressed, and acted the same way, this world would be boring. Dare to be different. And for those of you out there who are very judgmental, don't judge a book by its cover. It doesn't matter how someone looks on the outside, because that someone might be very nice on the inside. You are beautiful and great just the way you are. Don't ever let anyone tell you otherwise. If you ever feel sad about being different, come back and watch this. I love you all, my Casimators. Stay strong, stay unique, and most of all, stay true to yourselves.